Now, Mackenzie has taken us for tours of Bend, of Central Oregon, in many different, I would say, unorthodox ways. I try to. I try and find something way out there, and then I bring it back here to the viewer. So now, we're involving another species. Yep, llamas. Uh huh. And you might think, you can't ride llamas. They don't take you on tours, but you can take a tour alongside a llama and it actually happens to be very cool. So a llama adjacent tour. Yes, is what you're, you're not saying. riding them. They're not, I don't know if they're strong enough, but we didn't try. <laughs> Let's take a look. There are plenty of ways to see Central Oregon on your own two feet, but what about a tour that takes these kind of feet? Sherry Halligan owns 27 llamas, 18 of which are pack llamas. My parents have been in llama business since the early 80s. With big eyes and soft fur, llamas are easy to love. After loading up Boris, Otis, and Comet with lunch, I learned how to walk a llama. When you're leading them, there's two places they should be behind you or to your side. And it's depending on the trail. But if it's wide enough, they can stand, walk beside you, but they should never walk in front of you. How am I doing? We started our hike at Don McGregor Viewpoint in Lapine State Park. This is the Deschutes River. And the view out right out there to the east is Polina Mountain. Huh. Newberry Crater right there. It is beautiful out here. Yeah. We took off down winding, narrow trails toward our destination, Fall River Falls. The longest I've been out is 17 days. Whoa. Five llamas, 17 days, one resupply day. That is a lot of planning. Notice you've got a carabiner at the end. So you just find a tree where he's not gonna wrap himself, bang his things and just time around the tree. You could even do that little tree back there in the shade. Our first stop is at an old broken down cabin with a million dollar view. Off we go. Come on, come on buddy, come on, head up. A little further and we get our first glance at the Fall River. This river wouldn't be half as long as it is if it went straight. It's very, it's almost as crooked as Crooked River. Really? Oh yeah, it just winds around. If you look at it on a map, it's just crazy. The falls are beautiful and after a hot hike, it was tempting to jump in. Okay, let's go towards lunch. Yeah. Easy, easy. Good boys. Good boys. Easy now. Easy Ooh, this now. is steep. <laughs> yeah. Doing good. We got the boys some food for all their hard work. Then Sherry and I sat down to enjoy the food she brought for us. What do you get out of being a guide? Because it seems like you really enjoy it when you're out here. I do. I enjoy it a lot. I never hiked before llamas because I just felt, I felt like, gosh, that looked like a lot of work with backpack on your back and everything, and I just didn't think that was. So I never got out. But once I got llamas and started walking and realized that I didn't have to carry all that stuff and I saw this beauty and that really, that's why I do it. Sherry and her llamas take people on tours all over Central Oregon, including to Smith Rock and deep into the mountains. They're slow going journeys, but going fast isn't the goal. If you want to get somewhere fast, take a horse. I love horses. If you want to smell the flowers, pick flowers and smell the flowers and see things, take a llama. 